Good day, this is W5DPH. I want to do a quick video here on the ICOM 7610 and its receiving capabilities. Um, right now, on the left, you can see over here at the top, top uh, over here, antenna one. This is my main uh, receiving, or the, excuse me, my main antenna for 40 meters, a DX Commander 9 series. You can see there's some signals on the on the band scope there, and uh, some pretty strong ones in there, and you might even be able to hear it as well. Over on the right, I have I have it tuned to the same frequency as you can see, but instead of the main antenna, I have my receiving antenna. Now you might think, well, yeah. That's all fine and dandy. The receiving antenna should be receiving signals. However, there is no antenna connected to the receiving antenna at this time. Now, I'll show you my setup over here. Pardon the mess, but it is uh, pretty easy. LOGs loop on the ground. You can see there's nothing uh, connected to that port, okay? Now I do have a receiver guard in here, and um, I also have an antenna interface here from Wellbrook. This uh, energizes my uh, active uh, magnetic loop receiving antenna. But there is nothing connected on this port at all, uh, as far as an antenna goes. It's just, uh, in fact, it's grounded right now through the antenna switch. Uh, there's, there's nothing there as far as its ability to receive. I did call ICOM about this. I spoke with Rick, and he told me that there that the receivers are so sensitive inside these 7610s and the 7300s as well that uh, when there's a signal on the antenna, one port, that there's enough uh, leak through, I guess you would call it, or it's able the the uh, and the receiving antenna port um, is close enough to the antenna one port in the radio that the receiving antenna port can actually pick up strong signals on the receiving antenna port with nothing connected to the port. Oh, let me go back to that. Seventy-two fifty-one. The audio that you're hearing is actually coming off a of receiver, uh, receiver two, uh, the sub receiver. Now we can turn up their audio on the other one, and it's actually clearer on that on this one here. We'll go down a little bit. Looks like there's a stronger signal. Button on it. Seventy-two forty-five. So way, uh, you know your this is coming uh, in on. See, see my volume here, it, all the way down start, on the main. Sure in fact, I'll just mute it. Seventy-two forty-five. Yeah, sure this is all coming in on right. the sub receiver, the second receiver, just with the signal coming off of the antenna one port. It's able to pick that up, which is amazing. Anyways, just a short little video on that. I've got some other videos coming out. Uh, Loop on the Ground is going to be one. And we're going to also look at uh, Wellbrook uh, Active Receiving Loop as well. All right, uh, that'll conclude this. This is W5DPH, and um, we'll catch you later.